Guys, you're not gonna believe this crap. <laughs> I can't even tell y'all. This is the most expensive Coke bottle that I've ever dug in my entire life. It's not a hutch, but check this crap out. <laughs> We're back at it today and check this out one of my first bottles of the morning is a straight side coke and it is from meridian mississippi i was really hoping for an aliceful but this one doesn't have any damage so that's always a win i'm really excited about that guys as for other stuff that i've dug so far this looks like this could have been a wine or maybe a beer i don't know if you can tell by that top up there Still pretty cool. We'll probably keep that one. Now these have a little bit of damage. There's a Gordo with damage. I did sell one of these Gordos with damage for 50 bucks. So I will keep that because it is sellable. As for this one right here, this is an Alice Wool 1915. I sold one of these for about 25 bucks with damage. Because there again, these are listed as R plus in the book. You still see that this one still has the cap on it. And somehow it managed to fill up with water. That's okay though. We'll keep that one and keep going. So I'm gonna keep digging right here where that straight side coke just came out at, and hopefully I'll run across something good. I'll get back with you when we do. All right, he's got a few showing over here. We're just kind of taking turns, raking this bank off. We dug down below where the bottles are, and then we just kind of rake the backfill down into it, let the bottles fall out, move too easy. Ah, hobble skirt. Anyways, so what I was gonna show y'all was, there's a few things over here. This has damage, but that's actually a Coca-Cola bottling works from Huntsville. That is a very, very tough bottle to find. You can see a lot of these have damage, but like I said, we were selling them for 20, 30, 40 bucks a piece. It's hard not to carry them out when you can make that kind of money. Eventually, the market will be flooded and stuff will come down. Anybody uh, want this one like that 1915? Yeah, Meridian soda water. So we've dug quite a few Meridians. Oh, I wanted to take just a second too. I've been telling him and telling him I was going to give him a shout out. Wayne. <laughs> Wayne, you are probably our biggest fan. You comment on every video. <laughs> he has bought several bottles from us. He always comments. We yeah. appreciate it, man. Yeah. We really do. And I would attempt to pronounce your last name, but I'm not sure if it's Ovila. I don't know. You'll have to tell me in the comments below how to pronounce it. But either way, we appreciate you, man. It's guys like you that come back and watch us every week that makes us want to get out and do this kind of stuff. Ooh, where's that one from? Meridian. Another Meridian 1915. Meridian was a huge Coca-Cola plant. Like the biggest one on this side of Tuscaloosa in the state. Huh. That's crazy. It's not even in the state. But yeah, it's it's really fun it's what we're doing right now. And I think I'll, we've kind of got some bad blood here in Alabama right now. And I feel like I ought to address it. People think that we're bragging about our finds. And we're not trying to brag as much as we're trying to show that if you get out and really work hard, you can still find this stuff. As well as educate the general public too. Yeah, just. They can go out and find yeah, it. Yeah, I mean. Kind of like the creek video that I released earlier this week. Like I said, that's something that anybody can do. This isn't like metal detecting or another hobby where you're treasure hunting all over the world to try to find something cool. Every town had a bottling works at some point pretty much. And every town had sodas. And every town has a creek usually. So you can get out and do this kind of stuff and everybody can be a treasure hunter to an extent. But yeah, we've got a lot of local collectors that are talking really bad about us. But I think a lot of it's probably a good bit of jealousy though because we have been very fortunate on what we've been finding. There again, though, they're not putting the feet on the ground, and we are. So, you know, I hope that they understand that. So, we're going to keep going. We're going to take this all the way back another three or four foot. I have a feeling there's going to be a couple more good bottles in here to show y'all. There's three right there. Oh, there's three right there. One, two, three. That one oh. just broke. Yeah, stupid root glass. Let's see what that one is. You got me excited now. I'll get pulled out. Right there. Hobble broke. That's the one that looked good. Oh, is it one of the slick Birmingham. ones? Oh, yeah, it is. I thought it was going to be a Birmingham blocker. Man, we've been finding these things, and it gets your heart going. You think it's a straight side Coke every time. Or a really rare circle slope <laughs> in some small town down here. That's so crazy. Yeah. All right, we're going to keep going. Guys, you're not going to believe this crap. <laughs> I can't even tell y'all. This is the most expensive Coke bottle that I've ever dug in my entire life. It's not a hutch, but check this crap out. Oh, my God. Alice Wool is a star. I'm shaking. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh my God, freaking thousand dollar bottle. Oh my God, I cannot believe it. Holy crap, guys. There's no cracks or nothing. I mean, I, I, golly, I cannot believe it. Oh, I gotta, oh man, I gotta breathe. He came out right there by my shovel. I hit it with the shovel and somehow it just kind of 
glanced off of it. That is amazing. Holy crap. All right, let me see if there's any more there. All right, guys, I was so excited that I called that a Coca-Cola bottle a while ago. That was not a Coca-Cola bottle. That was a circle slug from a house full. It it's very, still a killer bottle. Yeah, it, it Probably very... Probably the only whole example now. And I've already got it sold for $300. <laughs> the buyer will remain anonymous <laughs> before I even got out of here. $300 bottle. All right, so I thought it was going to be a $1,000 one, but I'm still I'm still tickled with 300 bucks. So check that out. That's another variant of that same bottle that I found that has the star on it. But this is what the Coca-Cola would look like. It would have had the star, and it would have said Coca-Cola above it. I just it was kind of in the heat of the moment. <laughs> when you find a good bottle, it's like that. Yeah, you just get excited. You get overwhelmed, and you think you're going to find something good. Now, an interesting turn of events. We do have somebody else out here digging with us today. And uh, so we're going to see what all three of us turn up. It should be interesting. We're going to start channeling this way. And we're... In interesting, to say the least. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a <laughs> very way, good way to put it. But we're almost through with what we came here to do. Uh, this is going to be released a couple weeks after we've already dug, like I said in the last video. And uh, we've got most of it already dug out. There's a couple of spotty places left that may have some good bottles, but we're not holding our breath. But every now and then, just as soon as we're ready to give up, something good pops up. So we're going to get back to it. Check out his flip flops, guys. Y'all are really going to have heart failure over that. I was that. in a rush. I was selling stuff on eBay. Can't <laughs> help it. Had to ship about 15 bucks. <laughs> Everybody flips out because we don't wear gloves. They're really going to flip out with your flip flops on. I'll go barefoot. That was Hey, if you can't be smart, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be, we, tough. You gotta be tough, right? Exactly. So, all right, exactly. we're gonna keep going. One of the very few bottles that have not been a soda, we found this in a Vaseline, and that's been pretty much it that's not been soda related. There's stuff still sticking out in every single direction. Just the, uh, the older bottles have kind of dried up a little bit the further up the hill we went. But I mean, I, I literally, we can just sit here and just pluck them out. It's pretty crazy. So we're gonna keep going. I've only got about 45 more minutes, so I gotta go. But Clayton's going to hang around and keep digging. Hopefully I can find a couple more before I get out of here. All right, so he just pulled this out. It's a nice soda water from Brookhaven, Mississippi. Uh, those from Birmingham and Tuscaloosa are a little bit more common. We're not for sure on the Mississippi one or not. We'll have to find out. The line is starting to disappear into this bank, so we're going to have to move to the next pile and go ahead and knock it out. Ooh, it looks like an orange crush. There's that Vaseline down there. It's, it's solid, isn't it? Yes, it feels solid at least. It's always a good sign when they don't wiggle real freely. Well, I'll find out, huh? Yeah. Oh. Yes. And it's Alice Wolf. That is killer. Yeah. <laughs> got a flash <laughs> look at that <laughs> uh but still it's whole it's a whole yeah it's a whole specimen in the wild <laughs> yeah I know. that's like the second piece or the second close closest to whole one that anybody's ever seen huh these weren't even a known bottle before this place that's crazy crazy yeah. crazy i've been sitting here wiping this one down this was a little bit lighter colored 15 than the others i've dug a couple of these uh i personally like that lighter color which is nice so we're gonna move to another pile I had somebody ask me last week if we ever dig up cans, and it's very rare that we do. This being a more modern dump than what we're usually in. Ooh, where's that one from? Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa. Gone, but... So here's what the cans usually look like that we find. They are not <laughs> something that you can preserve. I know a lot of guys. Yeah, a lot of a lot of guys in Alaska and up north and different places can find cans in their storm, but down here, the humidity levels just do not cooperate with metal cans so that's not even a possibility for us and it's not a really good hunt unless we find a marble so we did find a marble now we're it's so weird must have had a kid playing at the bottling plant at some point uh it's, it's hard to say we're on our different pile right now so we've already found a 1915 is that a 15 too so we kind of got a little bit of an age bracket so there's could be some good stuff in here. We might move to a newer pile and try to score one of the big chiefs here in a minute because I would love to have one of those. Not the rarest bottle, but still a nice one to have. Well, Clayton is my hero. He dug my big chief that I was looking for and he gave it to me. I'm excited <laughs> about that, guys. I'm telling y'all.
Big Chief was a brand first used by Coca-Cola Bottling Company from around 1910 until the early 1930s when the Big Chief brand was replaced with Fanta and Dr. Pepper. Embossed clear glass bottles were made by Owens Bottling Machines that each plant bought and operated. Each plant in each location was responsible for both the design and shape of the bottle. But the Terre Haute, Indiana Bottling Company design won the nationwide competition to design the new Coke bottle in 1916. But it was not until the late 1940s that all Coca-Cola or Big Chief looked the same nationwide. Put simply, the Big Chief bottles from the 1920s are unique to each location in each city and state and therefore both are extremely rare and highly collectible. But I'm sure y'all know by now, any bottle that is embossed with something pictorial catches my interest and I thought this was well worth noting. I've been digging and digging and digging, couldn't find one. He popped it right out of that side wall right there in this third pile that we're in of the day. If there's one, there may be more. I may dig one. If I do, I'll give this one back to him. If not, I'm going to hold on to it tight. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's a little bit of stuff in here. We're running into some painted label stuff. Uh, a couple of Cherocolas. We, Chero -Colas. we have found a... Uh, we found two Big Chief halves that were painted label as well. It's kind of a newer pile, but still yeah, it's still tough stuff, and that is definitely something that I wanted, so I'm just excited to have that. Bottles, bottles, and more bottles. There's a painted label Big Chief that he found that was whole. Sadly, the label is not holding up very well. That was an Alice full as well. I'm not seeing the one with it embossed on the base like that. Usually, it pounds painted on the Backside. Right. There's a quality. It looks like it came out good. <laughs> Every one of these piles has something in it. It's just a matter of getting to them. And like I said, it sucks that most of them are broke. But we're almost done. A few more piles and that'll be it. All right, guys, I've got to get out of here for the day. Actually, going to do some real work. <laughs> and uh, one more look at this bottle that I found earlier. I mean, it's it's a stellar bottle. It's 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 crazy. I know that I sold it and a lot of people were probably like, why'd you sell it? Well, I'm not a collector for Aliceville in particular. Uh, so it, it wasn't worth me holding on to. And I got a three-year-old that can knock it off a shelf at any given time. So, you know, for a few hundred bucks, that's a few hundred bucks I can spend on my daughter. And I'm always happy with that. But that was definitely the find of the day. I'm just tickled pink about that, guys. Either way, I'm gonna leave Clayton here. He's gonna do some more digging. Uh, he's got his camera with him. Y'all talk him into turning it on and getting his YouTube channel going. I didn't video last time. I'm on video this time. <laughs> I got a whole I got a whole video thrown together. It just I uh, have not actually sat down and set up my whole channel yet. Well, got to do that at some point. Well, I had somebody last week tell me that our algorithm's gonna get thrown off because you've had your shirt on. So, ah. you know, so you got to take your shirt you off. Wanna, you want to take it off? Right now? <laughs> right now? All right, so all right guys. We hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider it. We'll see you guys next time